Well, I think in fairness to Erudite, um, these are fairly serious allegations, I think, and I think you agree with that. Um, well, otherwise, wouldn't be making spend. wouldn't be making the video yeah. otherwise. Right. So I think that it shouldn't come as a surprise, or it really shouldn't be seen as a bad thing that someone scrutinized the video, every part of it. Um, and so I hope that. I mean, if only you did, I probably would have been much more uh, amicable towards the response. Okay. Well, then let's discuss it. I think. Um, I kind of have a a way I see these kinds of allegations, which mm -hmm. is, um, what is what are our positions coming into them, and who has the burdens of proof? That's you know that's not a legal thing. I think necessarily it's just kind of like a intuitive person who is claiming what, the credentials and selling a right. service that is germane to those credentials categorically every time. Well, I was thinking of your allegations, right? The 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 question is fraud, right? Yep. Um, and so. On the question of fraud, has she ever misre has they, she ever mis misrepresented her credentials? Well, I'm I'm asking I'm you. I'm asking about, you. Has she ever misrepresented her credentials? Would you uh, would you would you stake uh, your reputation on her ever misrepresenting her credentials? What do you mean on, by misrepresent? Say that she has credentials that she doesn't. What do you mean by credential? Uh, a certification saying that she can do a thing or is a thing. What is a so a certification by that you mean an something academic something certification? Uh, anything anything at anything. all anything okay it can be a business it can be uh, a non academic society of some wrong, kind it can be she yeah she whatever. has made wrong statements about um things that she has that is that is true from what I can tell and I think Erudite has acknowledged that. Well, maybe you can enlighten me. Fraud, uh, right? What 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 wrong yeah, things is, have is you the heard? Question, is the question? No, no, but hang, hang on, just very quickly, just so I, who, I, I'm following you. Here? No, just, just so I'm following you. What wrong things have you heard specifically? Well, do you think that you have the burden to show fraud? What wrong things have you heard specifically? I want to know what we're working on. Who with. has the burden here to the, show fraud? Who has the burden to the show burden? fraud? If somebody has claimed if somebody has claimed credentials that they do not have. Then the burden is. You're on. alleging fraud, are you not? I am. Do you have the burden of proof to show that? I have shown that. Do you have the burden? Uh, insofar as I'm alleging something, absolutely, of course. Okay. So you agree that you have but to. But before we continue, it's actually a little bit important. It's actually a little bit important, though. I want to know what wrong statements are you aware of so I know what our common information is before we proceed. What why wrong information? That is a fact. This is a fact that you've specifically cited just now, no, unprompted. Why, I want to know what the like, content of it is. The question so you, is, so you, you, you admit right out okay. the gate that she has uh, misrepresented, that she has said wrong things about her credentials. Can you clarify for that. me? Can you clarify for me what wrong things has she said? I want to know why we would get into the facts before we can you have not an agreement about what can you about. not can you not substantiate that statement? What wrong things has I, she said? Then do so, please. I can do so. Okay, but after this, can we talk about the discussion overall and what we're here to talk about? Sure thing. We want to get into the facts. Sure thing. Is that Let's okay? See. Yeah, sure thing. But but, okay. but what what wrong things has she said? She has said that she has a graduate degree in psychometry, which is not true, and she said that she had a graduate degree in psychometrics, which. Uh, you say is not is not the exact title of her, of her. Uh, uh, it's it's a graduate diploma, strictly speaking, not a graduate degree. Yeah, see, you're incorrect already. Way. She hasn't said either of those things. You're wrong. She has. No, she hasn't. She hasn't said either of those things. Those are things. Those are wrong statements that she has not said. She hasn't said that she has a graduate degree in psychometry. No. What has she said? She has said, "I have a graduate degree, and the name of that graduate degree is psychometrist." Okay. To be more, so, to be actually uh, abundantly accurate, she said, "I'm a trained psychometrist." You agree that's a wrong. I am a trained mind, psychometrist. A Hang on, in I'm a mind, trained a psychometrist, which is a graduate degree. That's what she is. In said. your mind, that's a wrong statement, correct? Yes, that is a wrong statement. So you, you would agree with what I said then that, that that she has made some wrong statements. You would agree with what I just said then. Oh, with that statement, yes. It's just a little bit interesting okay, that so you're, so not even, we, you're, you're not even you're not even acutely aware of what those wrong statements are. That strikes me as strange. Can we talk about fraud? Sure. Okay. Do you have the burden to show fraud? I have shown. Okay. Of course, of course I do. You which have, is which is one of the reasons why I produce which is why I produce receipts. Which is why I produce which is why I produce receipts in my video. What do you need to do to show fraud? I need to demonstrate that she has uh made claims that either she uh uh cannot substantiate, um, or that are uh conflicted by uh the facts of the matter. 
So you just have to show that she's wrong to show fraud? No, I have to show that she has uh, misstated something and then use that misstatement in order to uh, gain some benefit or to harm somebody. Intentionally, correct? Yes. So it's not enough for you to say that she is wrong about something. You have to show that she's trying to induce, get some benefit, correct? Yep. Okay. And your theory of fraud here, on, uh, based on the first and second video, uh, that is your first video um, called, the, or whatever, the, the, the fraud one that's labeled fraud and the one that's res a response to my tw Twitter thread, mm -hmm. those, the theory of those videos is what's being induced, what's, what's being gained is debate credit and authority in conversations, right? Well, not just those. In also, 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 uh, a general perception by her audience that she has credibility with respect to matters as diverse as um, the position of psychology generally on things like IQ, on human sexuality, and uh, more egregiously, um, that she is specially positioned to offer advice on a free service, which is important because it means that what she's solely selling is her expertise. Mm -hmm. Uh, to refer people to psychiatrists or to therapists for a monetary fee, and that latter one and to, in the first and, video, to right? and to tell and to tell them which ones they shouldn't go to and which ones they should go to. That latter one wasn't in the first two videos, correct? Uh, with respect to the uh, the, the, the service. service, no, it wasn't in the first video. It was in the second one. Okay, it wasn't the second. All right, one. is is uh, I withheld is I withheld some things in the second video because I was anticipating a back and forth. Got it. What is a psychometrist? A psychometrist is somebody who administers uh, psychological tests. Is erudite a psychometrist? I am in the dark about that. I don't um, know. I don't. I don't know what her current employment is. I know she have, has. I know she has supplied no evidence that she is a psychometrist. Do you have evidence that she is not a psychometrist? Nope. So you agree that you haven't made out your claim that she's committed fraud with respect to the psychometrist? Only because she has left us in the dark about her current employment. Do I know you for, agree that you haven't made your burden of proof for credential fraud with respect to psychometrist? With respect to psychometrists, if she is claiming such on the basis of her education, which she has and she's not. Sorry, your burden of proof is on you to prove that she's credential fraud with respect to psychometrists, correct? I didn't accuse her of uh, credential fraud with respect to psychometrists. Are you, are you saying that you did not accuse her? Of, are you saying that you did not accuse her of credential fraud with respect to psychometrists? Yes, right. No, with You're respect to, with respect to psychometrician. And now, if okay, so, if if she okay. claims <laughs> if she claims she's a psychometrist on the basis of her education alone, then yes. Okay, but but to be clear. You are categorically stating that you are not alleging credential, credential fraud with respect to psychometrist, correct? Uh, correct, because I'm in the dark about whether or not she's currently employed as one. I'm fairly confident right. she so is you, not. So right off the back, the only credential fraud that you are alleging is with respect to psychometrician. That's right, right? I could also extend that to psychologist, therapist, doctor, etc., but I'm being charitable. So, so to be clear, are you alleging credential fraud with anything other than psychometrician? Uh, not definitively, no, but with respect to my, my, are, my, my first so video, not, psychometrician correct? is the major one, yeah. So, okay. I'm not, are you, your, your claims the first video does not allege credential fraud of psychometrist, correct? Uh, I have alleged that she is lying if she calls herself a psychometrist on the basis of her education. Wait, so are you alleging credential fraud in the first video of psychometrist or not? Uh, no. Okay. Are you alleging in the first video uh, credential fraud with respect to psychometrician? Yes. Okay. Are you alleging any other credential fraud with respect to any other title? I'd have to, I'd, I'd have to review my my stuff on that. You're not sure whether or not you're alleging credential fraud with respect. I'm not to sure whether I I'm not sure whether I would. the The claims in my first video were fairly modest. Okay. So. To be clear, as you're speaking now extemporaneously, the only allegation of credential fraud that you are willing to put on the record at this moment is with psych respect psychoma, to the title, psychoma, psychometrician. psychometrician, yes. Okay. Well, now if it now if it came out, now if it came out that she wasn't employed under the title of psychometrist, and I have seen no evidence to that effect, then I would extend that. You don't to have that evidence, correct? As, well. as correct, you stand yes. here, you have that you have no evidence that she's not a psychometrist. That correct? is correct, yes. Okay. So to be what is the definition of psychometrician? A psychometrician is somebody who is uh authorized to uh validate and create tests is it true that when you had this video response to erudite you had completely contradictory definitions posted uh you'll have to clarify that question yeah sure so in your video you cite to wiki diff 
a website that says a psychometrician is a person who administers psychometric tests. Is that true? Did you put that there? Oh, I can't remember who put that one there. I think I put the government website because I was trying to demonstrate what the you government did. of Alberta. Well, if you say so, you I was trying to. I was trying to. I was trying you, to. I was gift? trying to. I was trying to demonstrate what the government of Alberta uh, recognized as the difference between those two things. Because did in the in the, the absence in the absence in the absence of these being registered positions, the only basis you can go off of uh, for calling yourself these things is either uh, in the event that you're employed as one, if that's allowed, or colloquially. Did you put the Wikidiff definition on your video responding and trying to clarify the difference between psychometrician and psychometrist? Did you put the Wikidiff definition, which states a person who administers psychometric tests? Well, you're specifying that, so I'm going to assume that I probably did. I can't quite Is that a different that. definition than the one that you just provided about creates, creating and validating tests? Is that a different one from creating and validating tests? Yeah, is the definition that I just read, which you posted, the Wikidiff. Why, why, why don't you, why don't you just get to the point? What are you fishing for? Well, I'm asking. I'm telling you that you posted contradictory definitions. I, I, I know, I know, but you're look. Do you agree that you posted? Wait, look, you you're you're really you're, you're really not very good at this though, because you're you're patently fishing. But you could literally I'm just fishing, say, I'm telling you, what I'm you put you put this thing on here. Um, yeah. you, just show me show me the you, show me the contradiction. Yeah. I don't know why we're, I was yeah. I was going over your video already. Like diff, I was going to see it anyway. Wiki diff. So so in the 20 so minute mark of your response to Erudite's video, you put in a definition of psychometrician from a website called Wikidiff okay. that states a person who administers psychometric tests. That's different than create and validate, validating tests. And so my question is really simple. Did, is it true that you put contradictory definitions of psychometrician in your own video? Here, let me look. Oh. <sighs> If you want da, it, da, da, it's, da, da. the timestamp is... Oh, yeah, yeah, hang, hang yeah. on. Just give me one sec. Let me grab it first. And then timestamp we'll, is we'll 2219 on your, on your uh, response video. Not so erudite lies and manipulation. Oh, that's the last video. That's the more recent one. That's not the first video. That's correct. No, yeah, I said the one responding to erudite's video. Oh, I see. Okay, so what was the timestamp? Uh, that's 2219. 2219. Really pop it up on the screen quickly. Sorry, I haven't been sleeping great. Here we I'm go. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, uh, no, you're not. All right. 2219. Uh, what is this? That's 2224. Let's go back a little bit. Let's go to. Uh... That same government of Alberta job posting for psychometrists okay. that I outlined 16, required 17, only the completion of the job. Oh, 22, 2219. Yeah, that's right. 22 minutes, 19. 2219. Are identical. The first strategy fails because her claim is not supported by the evidence. Psychometrist and psychometrician on almost all reputable sources insist on their distinction on the grounds of supervisory authority, i.e., whereas the psychometrician... Here we go. Wiki difference. Psychometrician. <clears throat> a person who administers psychometric tests. Psychometrist. A professional who administers and scores uh, psychological and neurological measures. Um... Uh, now I point you to the one psychometrician and yeah. psychometrist. The psychometrician is a person who administers psychometric tests. Well, psychometrist is a professional who administers and scores psychological. Um, only at Do you agree that that definition is different than the one you gave, which is creating and validating those tests? Yeah, that's no good. I wonder why I put the wiki difference one on here. That might have been an error. Well, okay. Well, that's not the only go. contradictory definition that you posted. Okay. You know that, right? What does this get you exactly? Like, let's assume for argument's well, sake, hang on. Let's assume for argument's sake that all of these yeah. uh, definitions were contradictory. Yeah. And do you think that so which definition that you provided is the correct one? The one that you I said? Think, I think you're missing. I think, I think you're I think, I think you're missing the thrust of my question. Um, the reason why <laughs> Kyla has brought up the fact that she's a psychometrist or a psychometrician is to describe her competency in a field. And then she has sold a service that leverages her competency in a field because otherwise the thing she is searching for people for a fee is free. What does this well, get I, you? I need exactly? to know that she's not. I, I need to know, wouldn't you agree that in order for me to assess her misusing the title later on, I need to agree that she doesn't have those titles. Well, I mean, purpose, it right? seems, it seems like, well, she doesn't Wait, do you agree have, with she, what I just said. She doesn't, you know she, what, does, what, she doesn't have those titles. Pisco. She doesn't have those you, titles. Pisco. Okay, what? She doesn't have those titles. Isn't it important to establish that? It is. And I've established that actually okay. quite thoroughly. Okay. She does Can not I, have those titles. In, in establishing that, don't you need to provide a definition for what psychometrician is? 
Uh, yes, and she has, as it happens. Okay. She has justified okay, so you, her character. She has justified her oh, characterization. You need to provide a She has justified her characterization, her self characterization as a psychometrician, on the basis. You need to provide a on the basis on the basis of a paper she wrote under a supervisor in her in her undergraduate degree, and this is important because she differentiates. She different because she differentiates between that and her currently working as a psychometrist. If indeed she does. Do you need to have a definition of a psychometrician to make the allegation of credential fraud with respect to psychometrician? Is that necessary for you to have a definition? Yeah, and I've used hers. What is, I've used oh, hers. Sorry. She has differentiated what, between the two. What is so what it is appears it appears as if it appears it appears it appears as if I have included a slide here that contradicts the other slides. In I'm gonna, I'll get into the other ones if you want me to. But you said there's no point. There's there's multiple. But it, did you want sure. me to get into the other ones, or do, or do you or do you want to just say that it's okay? I put on carbonetry ones. Who cares about it? She does not have. She does not have a credential what that calls is, herself you, you a said psychometrician. That, you said that you're using. Did you just say that you're Pisco, using Pisco? Here's 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 the here's the fundamental problem with your entire approach, and it's it's kind of baffling me that you haven't understood this. If yeah. everything you say is correct, literally all you have established is that she is legally uh, within a loophole to play fast and loose with terms to manipulate her audience. That doesn't look better. No, I, I, I'm actually kind of astonished that you have so little character that that would be sufficient for you. I'm That's actually kind of legal, pathetic. I'm not. This is, this is legal nothing. I'm asking you whether in your language. Well, then in addition, then in addition, it's a legal nothing. But nonetheless, but nonetheless, nonetheless, she is leveraging uh, language that is confusing to a lay audience in order to make money. So let's clarify it. What definite you say that you're using Erudite's definition of psychometrician. Is that yes. right? Did you just say that you're using it? What is Erudite's definition of psychometrician? Well, she distinguishes between her doing uh, the work of a psychometrician uh, making a test under the I'm super. Sorry. Can you can you give me the definition of the Erudite provides for psychometrician that you said you're using? She differentiates between a psychometrist and a psychometrician when she refers to herself as being a psychometrician by specific reference to her crafting a test. Under super under the supervision of a professor in her undergraduate degree, and then saying she currently works as a psychometrist now, she distinguishes between the two. So, are you saying that that erudite's definition for psychometrician is what? is different from her definition from no, psychometrist? What is it? I, I want to know what it is that you're using. You say that you're using the definition. What definition are you using? That's hers. Well, once again, she specifies that she crafted tests as a psychometrician while she was doing her uh, that paper in her undergraduate, and then she works doing assessment as a psychometrist now in a lab. That's that's a statement of what she's done. Is that a definition? And your what you just said is a definition. It implies a definition. What it is implies that a distinction between the two. Now your base okay, is here. Okay. Now your base is here. The reason why. Now your base is here. The reason why we're talking about this is because you've highlighted the, the uh, Wikidiff page in which psychometrician and psychometrist There's more in which psychometrist and psychometrician have the same function. However, she has distinguished their functions. And moreover, I'm asking you and what moreover, you're using and moreover, it doesn't even matter because the letter from her supervisor only says that her graduate diploma in psychological assessment allows her to work under these titles. I have seen no evidence to the fact that she's worked under these titles. And the fact that she has distinguished between these two means that she, in practice, does not consider them equivalent. I want to know your definitions for the terms, titles, whatever you want to call them, of psychometrician. I don't know. I want to know which one you're using to establish whether she has credential fraud or psychometrician. Is that unreasonable for me to ask that? I have answered you. What is the definition for psychometrician that you're using? The definition for psychometrician is somebody who validates and creates tests. When she has, you, when, she has when she has, when she, when she, right? when she has tried to justify her self description as a psychometrician, her point of reference has been that she has crafted a test. So you agree that you're not using Erudite's definition? You're no. using your definition? No. She plays fast and loose and she switches between definitions as required. However, the fact that she is distinguished between those two suggests, well, actually directly indicates that she understands the difference between them. Her misusing of them, right? That yes. will be relevant information for us to determine if she's having credential fraud. No doubt. No doubt about that, Sunday. But in order, Absolutely. there needs to be some, there needs to be some North star here that's guiding us, right? We oh yeah. Yeah, there is, there is, right actually, right? there is so actually, there is actually, there is actually, there is actually, right there is, it. there is actually, she is claiming yeah. that she has a graduate degree and that the label of this graduate degree is psychometrist. That is a lie. I actually could just okay. stop there. <laughs> I'm I could just, I could just stop. I could just I'm stop the there. We right? don't even need to go that far. Wait, we don't even are, need to go that are, far. You are alleging credential fraud with respect to psychometrician, correct? Uh, I am indeed. But in addition, I am also alleging, I am also, no? I am actually also alleging credential fraud with respect okay. to trained psychometrists, which is a graduate degree. 
which you've agreed to, by the way. Look on my, you can see okay, my screen. See. Yes, you can see my screen. Uh, no, I can't. Can you look? I'm on YouTube. You can see, sure. Uh, oh, watch, watch stream. Yeah, just no. go right onto it. You can, you can share it to your audience. Let's see. Uh, do you want me to, to share the YouTube, your YouTube stream? Whatever floats your boat. Okay. Uh, do you want me to share the Discord stream or the YouTube stream? The YouTube stream is probably better. Can I get some more water? Thank you. All right, one second. I'll let you know when this is ready to go. Sure. Uh, do you want me to play it muted? I'm guessing. I don't care. Okay. I just I just want you to look at the screen. There's a text okay, at the bottom yeah. of the screen. Can you read it out for me? Yeah, got it. Can you read it for me? Yes, I'm also a trained psychometrist, which is a graduate degree. I've yes. completed. A does she have a graduate? Oh, it, right? Does she have a graduate degree? She has a graduate diploma. Yes. Okay. Does she? Does she go? To, does she go to school? Off of did she go? Did she go to school? Did Wait, she go why to are school? We off psychometrician? We're not moving off psychometrician, but we are. We are okay, addressing so the psychometrist point about? because this was central for you in your video because you were insistent that I was actually moving off the psychometrist claim. Is a psychometrist? Wait, 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 did, is right? you, is psychometrist? Pisco. 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 Calm down. You, you calm down. Breathe. Claimed. Breathe. Find your chi. Pisco. Is psychometrist the name of a graduate degree in Alberta? Is that a graduate degree that you can get? Uh, no. Is that a graduate degree you can get at all? Not, no, no, sorry. Not that I'm aware of in Canada. It's not. Is that a graduate degree that you can get at all? I have, I have no earthly idea. It is actually, you can actually get a graduate right. degree called psychometrist or psychometrician outside of Canada. I see. Outside and somebody, and somebody with that degree could immigrate to Canada and they could teach at which point she would be claiming a credential by somebody else who actually has earned that credential in order to sell uh, advice outside of her field to lay people on the internet. So are you claiming that she is, uh, I thought you said at the start of this conversation, you are not claiming credential fraud with a psychometrist. Are you now claiming that she is a uh, credential fraud with respect to psychometrist? I'm claiming, I'm claiming, I'm research. claiming credential fraud with respect to a graduate degree. She I may see. well indeed work as a psychometrist. However, the statement, I am also a trained psychometrist, which is a graduate degree, is a different Got statement it. from, I am a trained psychometrist, period. So, so uh, would you agree that you don't have any evidence that she's not a psychometrist? I have no evidence that she is a psychometrist. She's the one who claimed that title for herself. Is the burden I am not of proof for a credential? Is the burden of the proof? Burden of proof the burden of proof is always on the person. The burden of proof is always on the person yeah. claiming a credential. That's what a credential that's is. That's why you're not allowed. That, that's, that's what a credential, Pisco, that's what a credential is. A credential, a credential, a credential is proof that you have the right to refer to yourself by a title. If she has not produced that proof, the burden remains on her end. And it is entirely within everybody's right to say that she is lying if she refuses to. Who's the if someone if you're accusing someone of lying, is the burden of proof on you, the person who's accusing a lying, or is the burden of proof on? on oh, the I've sa I've I've satisfied my my burden of proof. It okay, is so right there on the screen. I'm here to talk about your allegations of fraud. Yes, okay? she claims she has a graduate so degree. I'm, That's a lie. She's claimed she's a psychometrician. Okay. I that is a lie. When, when last, she has then leveraged. Last, she has uh, then leveraged the credibility that she gains by the general perception that she has these titles in order to sell services uh, to people who are uh, banking on her having expertise in a field she doesn't have because they don't understand what these mean. When we last left left off, you said that you are not alleging credential fraud with psychometrists. That's consistent, right? You you maintain that. That's still the case, right? Yep. After what we just went through. Okay. Yep. You are alleging credential fraud. She may fraud be, though. She may be engaging in uh, credential fraud with respect to psychometrists. You don't, to be clear, you don't have any don't evidence know. that she's. You don't have evidence that she's. Committed Not with respect to psychometrists. With respect to graduate okay. degree and okay. psychometrician, cool. categorically, cool. yes. Okay, so let's talk about psychometrician first. You agree sure. with that? Let's go on psychometrician first. All right. You would agree. I right? want. I want. I want a statement from you before we move on. That when she okay. said that she has a graduate degree, which is the uh, which is called psych. Yeah, sorry, credential fraud. Let me rephrase that. When she says, yeah. I am also a trained psychometrist, which is a graduate degree, she is telling a lie. No. No? I don't accept that. Really? Why? On you. Why? Because I think it's a it's a plausible mistake. You think it's a plausible mistake to work yeah, for months and months and months for a degree, for a diploma, and then to fail to remember what the name of that is when someone is specifically challenging you, as you can see on the screen here, about, yeah. your, about your background? I don't think that it... Do you, you think she's? Do you think she's stupid? Do you think? Do you think? Do you think Kyla Pisco? Do you think Kyla? Do you think Kyla is stupid? Would you like me to? Do you think Kyla is stupid? Do you think Kyla? Do you think Kyla would seriously work for months and months and months? Would get academic advice would you like on getting a answer? diploma? Would get this specifically to the end of getting a specific career position? Do you think she would do that and then not remember what it's called? Would you like me to answer that question? 
Okay, I would like to have space to answer that, if that's okay. I think it's clear from your videos and the evidence you brought to bear that Erudite considers a lot of these terms to be interchangeable, correct? Well, clearly not, though, because she differentiates them. She justifies her being a psychometrician on the basis of her working on a paper in her undergraduate degree, which involved crafting a test. She justifies calling herself a psychometrist on the basis of present work. So you're incorrect. Okay. She does distinguish between these two. Whether or not she offers so, a wiki definition in addition to this is immaterial. She has acknowledged the definition between these two things, and she has, in practice, borne that out by relying on different justifications for each that correspond to the definitions of these used elsewhere. Is your claim that she uses these terms interchangeably, or that she uses these terms very separately and distinctly and purposefully? Which one? My claim is that uh, she conflates these terms out of convenience. And then, okay. wait, wait, pressed, so and then when pressed, right? and then when pressed, and then when pressed, differentiates them and bullshits the justification for each. So, so, is she using them interchangeably? When it suits her. When it suits her? Yes. When, any, when, when it suits her. That, do you have any evidence that, um, so, so the reason why I find your allegation... Because of, when, because when and, pressed, okay. because when pressed, she doesn't equivocate between them. She provides separate justifications for each explicitly this is okay. on twitter you must have seen this you, you can't be in the dark okay. about this so you you've seen this right I like you you know what we're referring to i even think i put it into my video i i understand all right i understand that we all think that it's plausible that psychometrist and psychometrician refer to different things and i even think it's plausible that that not so erudite recognizes that what we're talking about is what well. Here, here's a here's a here's a question. Here's oh, oh, a, oh, wait, can I finish? Wait, no, can I, can I here's a question. Here's a question. No, because okay. here's here's a question for you. Why not? Why would because I because I, I have a better question. Your questions are boring. So if her okay. if her supervisor has said explicitly that on the basis of a graduate diploma in psychological assessment, you cannot apply to a job under the professional title of psych uh, psychometrist or psychometrician, and she has not produced any evidence to the effect that she is currently working as a psychometrist, and her uh, her evidence to the effect that she's a psychometrician is that she worked on a paper in her undergrad in her uh, undergraduate degree. Um, would you not consider that to be a severe misrepresentation of her credentials to claim that actually she is both of these things? I'll re no respond to your prior point because what you just said was really boring. So I'll be responding to what you were saying before, which had to do with the statement that you put, the Discord message, and why I find the allegation of lying to be unjustified and, and not plausible. And the reason that Buddy, because I watched I, I watched I watched your initial response to my video. Yeah. The one in which I was covering your uh, your tweet responses. Mm -hmm. And at, at least one point, I think possibly multiple points, uh, you actually assign sentences to the wrong topic from my video you you mm -hmm. you are incapable of following an argument um okay once again like your entire defense here which i i'm very suspicious isn't based on pride because uh she onboarded the embezzlement claim which is not a part of my video at all which is from you okay um your your entire defense is that she is an excuse to play fast and loose with these terms but you haven't ha provided any justification at all for her then being perfectly willing to leverage the reputation she's gained by misusing these terms uh, in order to sell services for a fee that uh, are outside of her expertise to a vulnerable mm -hmm. audience, which she acknowledges may be financially vulnerable as well, um, or to make declarative statements about the state of psychology uh, on, on mm -hmm. matters which she's not qualified to do. My position is to refute your prima facie case of credential fraud. That's my purpose in all this. My is case of credential notice. fraud is in prima okay. facie. Uh, is this a conversation? No. I'm letting you speak. Why can't I have the dignity of a response? Um, because you're a disingenuous piece of shit, and this is laundry. Uh, that's what I consider this. Do you think that that's a nice thing to say? Excuse me? Why are you treating me with disrespect? Because I'm a mean son of a bitch. Do you, have I called you a piece of S-word? No. Okay. I would ask you the courtesy of not insulting me. In Denied. The conversation. Continue. Okay. I think that the important thing for my, my role here is to undermine your case. You have a case to make. The case that you have to I've make. I've made it already. Product. What consequence yeah. are you? Why do I have to justify this to you? I provided the evidence. You demonstrated a total failure to even reproduce the chronology of the argument. Why on earth would I give you the light of day? Well, because you agreed to. You agreed to have a discussion with me. I did. 
Okay, so I'm. Does that does that now that. obligate me to allow you to I'm, like cross examine me for an extended period of time well, on I'm your you, on your time with if, your if, with if, your if, preferred if, order of things? If you don't like if you don't like the cross examination style of it, I can just give you affirmative case for why I think you're you're, you're full of it. Please, but, for the, the love of God, that's what I asked for immediately yeah. when you came in. Okay, the the psychometrist thing you've already abandoned with respect. I guess now you've you've now for the uh, you know added this new allegation with respect to graduate degree. When she says she is a psychometrist on the basis of her credential, she lies. You you there is no credential you've, that allows her to say this, except for, one which, except for one in which, except for one, except for one, except for one in which he uh, she has a job with that title, and her professor's you, her professor's uh, paper actually bears that out. You've abandoned the claim of uh, credential fraud with respect to psychometrists, which I'm glad and happy. I, I never, I never sustained and, the claim of uh, okay, that's good. credential that's fraud with cool. respect to psychometrists. You allege that you never sustained it. That's great. I think. That's I mean, can you, can you, can you show me? You? you had, you I had, you had receipts I, for the previous ones. You're, not for you're this. Both your video states, your video says that she's not justified um, to to call herself a psychometrist. Do you agree with that? Right. I do. So you think that's unfair for me to say that your credential fraud ap applies both to psychometrician and psychometrist? I don't know why on earth you would insist on that. I have sus I have uh, sufficient grounds to accuse her of credential fraud. For her to be a I have sufficient I have sufficient grounds to accuse her of credential fraud on all of the other points I bring up. But you, this is this you, the you only reason why the only reason why I even fixate for any length of time on the distinction between these two terms is because she uses the one to justify the other. And this demonstrates her willingness once again, to be inconsistent with her use of these terms as the situation requires for her own benefit. She's disingenuous clear, and inconsistent. You, you accused her of credential fraud with respect to both. That's my interpretation of the first video. Your interpretation isn't worth a whole lot. You're very bad at this. Well, well, because well, let me explain why I think that okay. I think that because you say it's impossible for her to be a psychometrist. Specifically her. Spe so specifically it, her. Because, for example, uh, any number of people could actually be qualified on the basis of their credentials yeah, alone, think, not on the basis of work history, to be a psychometrist in Alberta. Yeah, I, th I think you're, she can't be because she was trained. She was trained in Alberta. There is there is no degree there. I know what you're referencing. I think that that is a hyper narrowing of what you were saying. But but it's fine. Even if I what I was saying your, was hyper even, narrow. That's fine. Even. So, uh, okay, then what you're agreeing that at the very least you were saying that she was not qualified to have that title. And therefore, if she's not qualified to have that title. Oh, that's, that's not, that that's title, not me. That's her supervisor. Well, no, you didn't. That's, you, that's oh, her supervisor. You, her supervisor says, and I quote, uh, you cannot call yourself a psychometrician. And by the way, a psychometrist is lower rank than a psychometrician or sorry. Actually, she's a psychometrist. Psychometrician is a higher rank. Um, because this is not a registered position, and outside of Alberta, there may be additional qualificatory requirements. Like, uh, do you agree like with that assessment? Degree. Do you agree with that? Did you affirm that? In do the I video? agree with do the agree? professor's? Assessment? Do you endorse that position? Right. Of course I do. It's so it's, it's, it's 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 a uh, it's an actually authoritative statement on it from somebody so beyond first, me. In that first video, yes. do you agree that you said that she was unqualified to be a psychometrist? Correct? She's unqualified to call herself a psychometrist. She okay. is qualified to work as a psychometrist and to work under the title of psychometrist. Does she? Is someone who works is Does someone she? Who works with the title I haven't I haven't claimed I haven't claimed titles for her. She claimed these titles for herself. Has she produced evidence to that effect? Is the burden on you to show credential fraud for a psychometrist or on her? I've shown credential fraud with respect to psychometrician. The burden on her okay. is to show credentials. I'm, I'm asking you the burden you on like her. The you. burden on her is to show credentials for psychometrist if she claims psychometrist. She has not done so. But you're alleging fraud, aren't you? On the grounds of psychometrician and on the grounds that she's claimed to have a graduate degree, which she does not have. Oh, okay. So in the first video, what part of this is confusing you? I have the text on the screen. Uh, because, because you've actually read it out for us. Quote: wait, wait, wait. Yes, not, I am not... also a trained psychometrist, which is a graduate degree. What part of this is 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 difficult for you? I'm I'm trying to under even understand your the scope of your allegations. So the I scope of my allegations you. are very narrow. She has claimed to have credentials that she cannot have or which she does not have. We know for a certain fact that she doesn't have a graduate degree. Why? Okay. Well, for two reasons. First of all, because when actually pressed, the credentials that she supplies are a graduate diploma in psychological assessment. And second, because a graduate degree in psych as a psychometrist or as a psychometrician is not available where she received her credentials. This is very clear think, cut. I, yes. Now she here, then, so now she then, after having done that, tries to sell services to vulnerable people allocating them or, or picking out and excluding uh, psychiatrists, therapists, etc., um, on a free service on the basis of her expertise. Okay. 
Um, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to ask you again. It's true that your first video does not allege credential fraud with respect to psychometrists, right? That's your opinion. That's what you're saying. Uh, if memory serves, I believe I did. Okay. All right. So if it is the case that you alleged, uh, credential fraud with respect to psychometrist, that would, you would disavow that claim. You'd say that's, that's incorrect and that you overstated, it, right? Uh, I would say what is overstated. I wouldn't say I disavow okay. it. Um, so now I, I, I am actually, it. I am actually highly suspicious that she is, uh, not telling the okay, truth but about you, her but you agree you don't have, you, but, but you agree you don't have evidence of it. Hang on. We lost the connection. Give us a sec. Yeah, sure. I'm going to the washroom boy. Wait. Yeah, sure. All right. the bar exam and is um oh, oh looks like it looks like we're still in the red but we're at 1500 uh kilobytes oh sorry second. about that i'm i'm streaming at that sorry if i didn't tell you that's not going to affect things this is in my end okay cool okay looks like we're back in the green give it five seconds for the audience to come yeah. back uh who's with us right now we, we've uh skate shark i think i heard you talking yeah, I was just going to ask Pisco the question we had earlier about if someone is um, has passed the bar exam and has done everything mm -hmm. that is required to become a lawyer, but they've never um, practiced or been hired. Uh, I understand that they can put like Esquire at the end of their name, but they can't. Mm -hmm. Could they put on their resume that they are a lawyer? If you pass the bar and if you are admitted to practice in a state, you're a lawyer. Um, okay. that's, think, an, that's an additional step, though, being admitted to practice in a state. Correct, yeah. Admit, being admitted to practice is an additional step. Uh, different jurisdictions. Not casting any aspersions, just out of curiosity. Are, are you just past the bar, or yeah. have you been admitted to practice in a state? I've been admitted to practice since, since last year, yeah. Oh. You've got a lot of time on your hands for a working lawyer. What's that? You've got a lot of time on your hands for a working lawyer. Actually, you know, I, this is a fun hobby of mine. I mean, like, yeah, I spent... Um, Several hours on this, uh, many hours, I would say. I would say hours. many hours, yeah. I'd probably, probably like 12 total hours on this at least, right? Because with a four hour stream, uh, looking all, in all the Twitter threads. So, you know, a significant amount of time, but I think someone ought to, because I think that, you know, someone deserves to go through all this stuff and I go step by step. And I'm hoping my goal in this, I'm not trying to hide the ball here. My goal of this is to test out your definitions and usages of all these titles, starting from psychometrist to psychometrician. And to see if you have a working definition that can be used to substantiate a, a claim of credential fraud, and all the burdens, in my opinion, are on you to show that fraud. Well, not really. She's the, the she is she's the one who has claimed those credentials. We have seen from her uh, supervisor. We have seen from her supervisor that on the basis of the education she has provided, that she doesn't have those credentials, and she has falsified credentials that she does not have. But, but that's why I asked at the beginning whether or not you think agree the burden. Do is you on think? Do you fraud. think? Do you think? Do you think saying to somebody to justify your uh, credibility in a field that you have a degree that you don't have and to lie that a degree that you don't have exists? Do you think that that's uh, not fraudulent? I I don't think that you're fairly characterizing what what happened. But even if I did, she right? wrote it out. It's not even it's not even like a misspeak. She okay. she wrote this out explicitly. This is like a so paragraph people, that she wrote that is that is impeccably impeccably well typed without errors. This is a thought out sentence that she used to respond to someone who was specifically criticizing her. Okay. On the grounds I'm, that I'm she had happy. misstated her credentials. Under these conditions, this is when you would be amicably precise. 
but she makes up a degree that doesn't even exist where she was trained. Well, okay, you agree that it exists, just not where she was trained. Right? No, it doesn't exist where she was trained. That's not a thing she can have. Okay, okay, you agree that it exists, just not where she was trained, right? Of course, that's actually this is actually that's important because okay. it means that she's not just making up a degree. So she's not just making up a degree. She's stealing credibility from someone who may in fact have that degree. It's just not offered where I'm she is. Happy, I'm happy to run this down with you, and I'm happy to do it. Because basically, this is what my position is, even if I were to grant you that she's an improperly a psychometrician, which I haven't yet, because I think you haven't shown uh, a, even a you know, working definition for that yet that you're, you're going to cling to. You're, you've, at first, you said it's create and validates, but you put all these contradictions. This, this is something that she's distinguished. Thing. I can put this up on the screen for you as well, if you uh, like, you with that using, provide clarity. Saying, I think we'll do that. I think that's a good then idea. You're saying, then you're saying you're using Erudite's definition, but then you yes. say, well, actually, no, I'm using mine. Um, so I, I don't. Say I haven't. I haven't waffled between. Her. I haven't waffled between those two. Um, so, so why, it is, why it did is, you put contradictory is, definitions in your video? The government of Canada recognizes a difference between psychometrist and psychometrician. Most sources and most professionals also do recognize this. Moreover, this will not be conflated on a diploma or on a degree. Now she doesn't I'm have a degree. You she has a diploma. Why you put contradictory definitions of psychometrician in your video? Uh, I, I probably had a list of slides and I was exhausted and I probably put in the wrong one for then. I don't know why I would cite wiki difference. I probably had a bunch and I, I overlooked it. That's probably uh that's probably a mistake on my end. I wouldn't, I don't think I would, I don't think I would char characterize generally wiki difference as like one of the most reputable sources. That is kind okay, of a but strange you, choice. But, but there are more, right? I mean, like, what's there the other are one? More, right? Well, what's the other so one? The, so there's leverage edu.com slash blogs slash psychometrician. It says, this is uh, right after the wiki diff. It says, All right. a psychometrician is a person who is skilled in the, the administration and interpretation of psychological tests. I know, let's pop this in up. simpler terms, a psychometrician is a person who practices the technique of measurements. Leverage, hang on, hang on. A psychometrician who is skilled in the administration and interpretation of psychological tests. Yes, whereas a psychometrist is an expert in administering psychological, neuropsychological personality and academic tests. No, this is a distinction. The, 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 these, are, these are distinct, Pisco. You're, you're wait, reading this incorrectly. A psychometrician, wait, wait, wait. a psychometrician, yeah. a psychometrician administrates and interprets psychological tests. Is that different than created and validated? Uh, it, it, it could conceivably be the scope different? of the language. However, between the wait, two, wait, is it, between... Wait, sorry, is it different than created and validated? Yes or no? I'm interpreting administration as being, uh, in, in, interpret, uh, creating... Is administration the same as... Administrating... Creation? Well, the, the language in this one distinguishes between psychometrist and psychometrician. The point is that the I point that I'm making, I'm, the point I'm that I'm making, the point, the point that I'm making here is that these are generally considered to be distinct. The language okay. here, the language here, read them in order. A psychometrist is an expert in administering, and that's it. A psychometrician is someone who is skilled in the administration and interpretation of psychological tests. Is that different than creation and validation? Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, include is the terms. It doesn't include this, this definition here doesn't include creation and validation, except interpretation, uh, identify psychometrician as a scientist as opposed to a psychometrist who is the person responsible for administering the test itself to a patient. You agree this definition is, is, is different than your definition, correct? Uh, it, it is different from my definition. Yeah. The point that I'm making, the point that I'm making okay. with these clips is that these are distinct terms. And once okay. again, once again, this is a distinction that That's she acknowledges. I'm making, right? I don't care about the, yeah, making... but the point, the points you're making are bad. Wait, what, what point? If I can show, wait, why would you say this bad? If I can show. Because you're, you're not, you're, you're not speaking to the purpose. You're this. not, because you're not this. speaking, because you're not speaking to the purpose of this segment. Uh, whether or not I'm speaking to what you meant by it, I'm showing you that you are producing definitions of the word and showing the distinction. But I've already I've already acknowledged that colloquially there's wide misuse of these terms. The reason why it matters that these terms, however, are not actually equivalent in their technical sense is because it means that these terms will not be uh, equivocated on paper, on an actual document certifying somebody to call themselves one of these things. So basically what I'm getting at, well, why am I doing this? It's, it's clear. That's right? the these, million dollar question. These different def, uh, uh, distinctions that you're providing embedded in them. And I'd like to finish this embedded in them are definitions. And those definitions contradict the definition you have of creation and validation. No, no. In this part of the video, I'm literally just uh, asserting, I'm literally just asserting the distinction. I, I don't care that you are asserting in this part of the video. Part of asserting distinction is defining, right? I can't assert a distinction. Without uh, yeah, but but you're you're right? you're 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 confusing the purpose of the section. Can I distinct though. without defining? Can I distinct two words without defining them? Of course you can. 
So for example, you can have like a whole bunch of people who use, uh, and Aristotle does this a lot, actually, if you ever read that, um, you can, you can distinguish between two things on the basis that they are treated, uh, differently by wide, uh, groups of people or, or that they are, they, they, they involve different things, right. even though, even though, um, everybody has their own definitions for what these things are. No, that's it's actually not, that's very, actually not, so, that's actually not the case here because when you actually look, when you actually look. When you actually look at the credentials that are available for this, when you look at um, the the more the more reputable sources on on describing these things, which will be governmental and academic things, um, they do either make the distinction. Uh, you just said it, right? You, you just said it, like you could look to different how how people would react to different words, how people would sure. uh, like it, you're getting at different meanings of words. That's the distinction. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah but but that but that that is going to be separate from what's going to be on a piece of paper. That technically specifies your qualifications. Okay, so uh, so I'm the issue I'm having here I'm is the issue I'm having. Right now. I, I, I know, I know you are. I know you are, but you're okay. laser focused on something on the that doesn't. Definition of these words on these terms. Why? Why shouldn't I be focused on what psychometrician means? Why? What? Why is that improper for me to look? Why? Is Pisco, wrong or erudite herself admits the titles are distinct. This is over. I, I'm not arguing. What okay, but if she's if she's if she is contradicting herself and she is claiming the credentials, it's over. There's no the, we, we there's nothing to discuss here. What are you talking about? You're alleging credential fraud. All of your elements that you said she uh, you uh, it's it's literally on my screen. Pisco. She said she has a graduate degree. She does not. I could end there. I don't have to do anything else. Okay. If if you, if I want to. That is explicit credential. Do you, do you want to? Are you are you willing to talk about psychometrician with me? Yes or no? No. Fuck off. I, what's I, what's no, what's quick. exhibit B? No, you're, let me ask. You're, you're, no, no, you're no I'm going to jump in. Talk about I'm going to. Hey, hey, That's calm, so chill, 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 chill. I got a question. <laughs> Why? Is I don't know anyone... who the, I don't know who this guy is. He broke in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'm here to discuss soldering. Um, look, I'm wondering. Excuse why me, he... Brooks. There are children in the audience. Sorry, continue. <laughs> yeah, the board. You don't want to of... talk about psych? Wait, 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 wait. He doesn't want to talk about psychometrician. It was, it was, it was a joke. It was a joke. I'm actually wait, going wait, wait. to because my question is the board of certified psychometrists defines them differently. Psychometricians are PhD level, whereas psychometrists are only authorized to administer tests and not create them. They distinctly put them. So I'm wondering why Wikidiff and all these other weird sources are are what we're using instead of Boom. literally the board uh, of certified you just psychometrists. Got it. Right, right, right. Like you just got it, right? And it right. and it destroys Sunday's point. It Fuck. destroys the Sunday's point about I'm fraud, destroyed. right? If if it is the case that uh, even the This is in America, by the way. Hey, can I can I finish a sentence, please? If it is the case that even the sites that Sunday is providing are showing, conf they they say that there's conflicts in the field. They say that people commonly misuse these titles. That there's common distinctions. The distinctions that he's citing disagree with each other. It's showing right a lack of malice, a lack of intentionality. The fact that there are you know Wik Wikipedia sites that show hang on, hang on, on who on, on the part of who lack of malice on the part of who. Of of any person who would misuse these titles, if it's commonly done, right? But no, she, it's she not but she, done. wait, 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 no, but, no. But the, wait. Let me finish this thought, right? The fact that these websites that you're providing in your own videos disagree with each other shows, right? What is the consensus? What am I to make of it? The fact that that Sunday in his video clarifying what these words mean is unable to provide a consistent definition. That must show, right? That. Wait, maybe there isn't an overriding no, I mean, objective. So clear definition. again, everything I saw in Sunday's video, and I, I missed maybe some of this conversation, but everything I saw in Sunday's video matches what the Psychometrist Certification Association and Board says, that the psychometrician is the typically a PhD professional whose area of expertise is in test design and statistical analysis. Psychometrist is a that's, professional who is the end user of these tests and measures. That's not what Sunday said. Sunday says the psychometrician is, a, is at 950 of his initial video. Psychometrician is a scientist authorized to create and validate psychometric tests. That, that's, that's what that means. That's, that's literally the oh, same wait, wait, sentence. Wait, my wait, no, it's not. Did, did any part of that say typically PhD? So well, it's different, uh, right? You wait, wait. You agree that what you just said is different than what? Well, I typically, typically PhD, typically, wait, wait, typically, 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 drink some tea and calm down. Typically, will mean that generally people who are admitted to have that title will have a PhD. Um, there appears to be. There appears to be. There. I don't know. You spoke too much. There appears to be a lot of. There, there, there appears to be in a lot of places um, outside of Canada 
uh, credentials at the master's level that allow you to call yourself on the basis of that credential a psychometrician. Um, and in Canada, uh, having a graduate diploma in psychological assessment uh, permits you to hold a job title psychometrician, which would be the basis for calling yourself that here, because if that's not a registered thing, if it's not a thing you can get a credential in, guess what, Pisco? That's not a thing you can get a credential in. That's what that means. Sunday. No, she Sunday. claims, if she claims on the grounds of employment that she's a psychometrician and she hasn't worked as a psychometrician, she's not a psychometrician. If she claims on the grounds Sunday. of education that she's a psychometrician and she can't get where she has trained a certification calling herself a psychometrician, she's not a psychometrician. Ergo, ipso facto, vis a vis, when she calls herself a psychometrician, she is fucking lying. And moreover, once again, on the screen, we have her lying clear as day that she has a graduate degree called psychometrist. She does not. It's over. Do you? It's over. Do you agree with? Do you agree with what Brooks just said that psychometricians are typically PhD level? So I, that's, I, I, one that's in America, and I'm and it, throw out that line because again, that's. Wait, like the I fact just want to know if he agrees. Wait, I just want to know if he agrees. He brought. I want. I want Brooks. I want Brooks. Brooks, and you can you restate that? Sure. So the way that they differentiate is simple. The psychometrician is the person who builds the tests and sets them up for measurement. The administrator of the test is a psychometrist. Quite literally, psychometrists are actually not there to interpret the data and deal with the end user, the person who took the test. That is the psychologist job. A psychometrist is literally the test giver. No, that's, no, that's, no, that's, no, that's, hang on, hang on. That's actually, that's actually interesting. That's actually interesting. So the, uh, video that you are, the section from the video that you are critiquing, Pisco, that you were saying contradicts this, says here, a psychometrician is a person who is skilled in the administration and interpretation of psychological tests, whereas a psychometrist is an expert administering psychological, neuropsychological personality and academic Correct. tests that's with, all with no interpretation or administration involved. So these, these are consistent. I, I am in the dark about whether or not that's actually factually true, whether most of them have a PhD. I am aware of uh, graduate degrees that are called psychometrician, um, but that's, so that's a sociological question. Are, are you able to substantiate in the moment what Brooks said, which was that most are PhD level? Are you able to substantiate that right now? Brooks is quoting something. I don't need to. He's just saying that a thing says this. You, would you endorse what he just said based on your knowledge right now? Uh, would I would I endorse the statement of a website whose methodology I'm not aware of? No, I don't know. Okay, so I don't. I don't even think. I don't even think Brooks would. Brooks well, was explicitly it's, citing. It's clear, it's clear Brooks, what were you Brooks citing? Saying, hang on, hang on. Brooks, what were you citing? I, I was talking about what they do and what they interact with and the difference. No, no, no. But, but when when you said when you said most are PhD level, uh, it's the American Board of Certification. You were just you were just reading you were just reading what they said. Correct. I okay. So so Pisco Pisco, your issues with the American Board yeah. of whatever. That's not well. No, my issue is well, Brooks said that what you said was consistent with that. It is. It's right, that, right here on the screen. Actually, a psychometrician oh, is a person who is skilled in the administration and interpretation of psychological tests. A psychometrist is not charged with interpreting with interpreting tests. So there. Okay. You, now, now the charge was with inconsistency. He's he's provided like a corroborating statement from a reputable source. That's that's over. Okay. Do you agree that most psychometricians are PhD level? I have no idea. So what, 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 what does that matter? What does that matter? What does that matter? What does that matter? Hang on. No, 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 no. Brooks, Brooks didn't say that though. Brooks said somebody else said that. Brooks he said. He was citing it as authoritatively. You agree with that? He was citing it authoritatively to, to say that this is what it was. He wasn't just saying it randomly, right? He was citing it to, to point that that is what it was, right? Uh, Brooks, what is the name of the right? board again? It's the board of. Brooks, it's the board of what, what uh, is it called? Certified psychometrist, essentially. Certified psychometrist. Okay, so uh, are you contending, Pisco, that the board of certified psychometrists is not I, an authority? I'm not. I, I want to know what you're. I'm just curious. I'm in the. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't asserted them as an authority. I'm just curious if you think they're not one. I don't even know who these guys are. You haven't even established the foundation. Well, then why are we talking about this? Why are you, why are you wasting because time? Br Br Brooks interrupted to say what what I, I'm wondering where we're getting definitions. That's it. Uh, I'm just okay. I'm because I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm trying you. to figure out what's thank going you. on. I am, I am also wondering that because the definition that um, Sunday just read is different than create and validates, right? You must agree, so, um, Sunday, that uh, administration interpretation is different than creation and validation. Would you agree with that? Well, who makes the test then? If if the if the, if the if the psychometrist 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 is an expert only in administering psychological and neuropsychological personality and academic tests and a psychometrician is a person who is skilled in the administration and interpretation of psychological tests, which one of these is going to make the tests? 
don't or know. do the tests just grow on trees? Or they just appear? Is creation and validation different than administration interpretation? I don't know. It depends yes. on what they mean I, by I think, it yeah. depends on what they mean by administration yes interpretation. No. It depends on what it depends it depends on what they mean. The point I'm making in this so quote, the, the point I'm making so, with so, this slide, the point I'm making with this slide is that psychometrist and psychometrician are treated differently and have different purviews. Which they do. So it could it could be the case you're saying it could be the case that administration and interpretation are the same as creation and validation. You're saying that could be the case. Uh I'm I'm saying that insofar as these are differentiated, that would be where that would lie. Now it's possible well, whoever no, wrote this I'm simply wasn't paying attention the to words, that. Uh, I'm, I'm saying whether or not the words in context, administration and interpretation, it's possible whether they, that that could mean creation and validation. It's possible that could mean that. Uh is it possible that administration occurs uh Invalidation. I think. I think. I think. I think. I think interpretation would offhandedly. They're different, it would right? Probably, creation and validation are different, right? Then, but they're not. They're not. They're not different from anything that I'm saying here, though. Is the point? Wait, are, are they different than creation and validation? Is administration and interpretation different than creation? I validation? don't know, genius. You tell me. Uh, they don't. They, they are don't. Different. They're, they're clearly different. Really? How are they clearly? What clarifies this, Pisco? On the what active, basis are you saying that? Really? What's your definition? Speaking, what's your definition? Active, what's your definition of it? Hey, genius. What's your definition of administration and interpretation? Where are you getting yeah. this from? Where are you getting yeah, this so, from? So, like, where are you getting? Which, which which board are you citing? So the act of, I speak the English language, right? You speak the English language? I use the ordinary usage, unless there's a reason to use some kind of technical definition. He I'm uses the ordinary usage of administration. Uh, really, wh which dictionary is the ordinary dictionary? Uh, there, there are several. Merriam-Webster, there's uh, my, not my experience. In, in What's an administrator? World? What is an administrator? Someone who oversees Indeed. Um, the, ex the execution. Good. Very good. Policy. Very good. Someone who oversees. Does the definition of psychometrist given here say anything about administration? This definition... No, no it doesn't. The psychometrist does not oversee. The psychometrician has supervisory authority. Wait, wait, wait. It says in this definition from Leverage EDU that you put in your video says, a psychometrician is a person who is skilled in the administration yes. and interpretation of Correct. psychological tasks. Correct. And what do is I say? And what different? do I say? Is a psychometrician is a scientist. A psychometrician is a scientist with who supervisory authority who also, cre who also creates, who also creates and validates tests. It does not say they don't create and validate tests, and it does not say that the psychometrist does. So this would be is an omission on their part, but it doesn't is matter. This definition, is this definition different than yours? Uh, no, it doesn't. It's not holistic. It's not, though. Different. It's not holistic, though. It's no, no. A, a, psych, a psychometrician is a person who administrates, oversees is it in the your same, language. Wait, is it the same as your definition? Uh, Sunday, I'm going to let you know, just so you know, Sunday, Pisco kind of got this one. I'm going to just... 100%. I just want to pull back for a second because this is dumb shit. Uh, not you, Pisco, or Sunday, just this whole yeah. thing. Because, okay, so I'm going to... Let me, let me try another way because... <laughs> Again, I fucking hate all of this. Well, well uh, hang, hang on a sec, Brooks. Because administration literally means when we say administering, there is a that is a very particular thing. They hold the test. They hand them to students. They watch the students take the test. This is administering the it's test. It's not creation. It's not creation at all. Creation is not administration. They're not used the same. They're not set up at all. The psychometrician Wait, me, Brooks, is the one who creates. Brooks, I think it's a good point. So I want to ask Sunday. Is this definition that you provided the same as your definition of creation and validation? Is it the same? I haven't provided my own definition. I've referred Wait, to the no, government and I've, referred, and I've referred to Kyla. At 9.50 of your first video, you say yes. a psychometrician is a scientist authorized to create and, and validate. Then I, and, then, and then I provide my sources, the government of Canada and eventually the... Okay, uh, so my, my question for you is whether or not this definition that you cite from leverageedu.com uh, is the same definition. Uh, it's consistent with it. And administ administration it, involves sorry, oversight. Is it the same, administration, is it the same definition? Administration involves oversight. There is, is it, no is oversight. The same, there is no oversight. Is it the same definition? Let's, let's pretend for argument's sake that they were completely different. Where does this get you exactly? Save us some time. I, I, I'm, I'm going to get there. No, no. Let's, let's, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to grant you everything. Get us there. Let's are just they, speed are it up. Are they the same? Are, wait, are you no, 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 no. Let's just, let's just jump there. Let's just get there. Pretend, pretend you won. Let's get there. Where, where are we going? I did win. Cause you know, where you are we know, going? So Pisco, where are we going? Where are we going? You're it's being conclusory, Pixo. Pixo, I mean, Pisco. Wait, wait, is, tell us where, conclusory. tell us where we're going. I'm picking apart your definitions that you provide it and that are contradictory with each other. Not the same with each okay, other. Okay. So let's, let's say, let's say, let's say all of my definitions are wrong and contradictory, Pisco. 
then you're fucked. Am I? Am I really? Am I really? Careful. Let's think about this for a second. Because we've got a little bit of a problem here still, in that she is still claiming to have a degree which she doesn't have, and by her own definitions, she is not the thing that she claims to be. Well, I'm dealing with psychometrician first, and then I can... No, 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 we are dealing with all of them at once. It, take me out why? of the equation. Why, why, She's, why, why, why are you so scared? You're, like, let's I'm not scared of anything. I'm not scared of anything. Why you're, are you, why spiraling, are you you're spiraling why out you on a red herring. She says why right here, she says right here, I am a trained psychometrist, which is a graduate degree. Is that true or false? Well, you're going off psychometrician, aren't you? Are you going... Just to be clear. I'm reading her quote here. Yes, are, I'm are, also are you, a trained. Are you talking to, yes, quote. Yes, anymore? I'm also a trained. Yes, quote. Are I'm also a trained. Quote. Yes, I'm also a trained psychometrist, which is a graduate degree. Unquote. This is not so erudite in 2022. I don't give a fuck. Yes, I'm oh, also so a trained so psychometrist, which is a graduate degree. We're not talking about psychometrician anymore. To be clear, we're not. We can. In which case, she says, "I am a psychometrician because I did. I uh, made a test that was uh, for the Canadian government, an in-house measurement tool." Um, and then she shows it on screen, she shows her supervisor, this is during her undergraduate degree, and then she says, I was a psychometrist because I currently work as one for a lab. Those are the, well, those are the bases on which she well, makes her claims. So on those bases, we have no, yeah. we have no, we have no clarity whatsoever on the psychometrist well, the job. I want to know we have is, no right? clarity it's... whatsoever on the psychometrist. I... We have no clarity whatsoever on the psychometrist job that she claims to have. None whatsoever. Um, and on the, uh, psychometrician thing. Uh, according to her professor, according to her supervisor, she actually can't call herself this professionally. And she claims yeah. professional training. She has not had that at that point because this is before she had her graduate diploma. Do you think it's fair for me to, in, in assessing whether or not I buy that she's a credential fraud with a psychometrician, for me to rely on a definition of psychometrician? Is that unreasonable for me to rely on one? Uh, potentially if the issue is we're talking about what somebody self portrays as in the justifications Wait, that they give, which stand, which stand independent. And the only reason I'm bringing up these definitions on websites, et cetera, um, is to show that her trying to leverage the common perception that these are equivalent is dubious because it is dubious. How can it be, how can it be unreasonable for me to, when assessing a claim of credential fraud, it, you know, rely on a definition of what that credential is. Rely on a definition of what how, that credential how, is. How can that? We already, we reasonable? already, uh, Pisco. We already have a definition of what that credential is. There isn't one. There isn't one. There is one okay, basis. No Pisco. There is one basis. There is one basis for her to call herself a psychometrician, where she works and where she was trained, and that is on the grounds of her having a job with that title. She does not. Okay. So is a. A psychometr is a definition of a psychometrician then anyone who has the job title psychometrician? Uh, in Alberta, uh, somebody who has the job title psychometrician is entitled to self-refer as a psychometrician. I'm asking what the definition of a psychometrician is. Is the definition of psychometrician? If it's based on job title, it's 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 based on job title. The well, definition well, of a psychometrician, is, the, de the definition, the definition of a psychometrician in Alberta is going to be, insofar as there is a firm one, it's going to be somebody who works under the job title uh, psychometrician. There you go. That's the problem. What's the problem? The answer is, does she work under the job say, title Pisco? Does she work under the job title psychometrician? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you're trying to sell her to who exactly. Do you have Do you have evidence that she doesn't work that she's never worked under that title? That she's never worked under the title of psychometrician? You have evidence of that? I do. Uh, when she tries to justify it, she does not point to a job that she's worked. She points to a paper that she wrote in her, in her undergraduate degree, which she okay. was not she was not titled a psychometrician uh, if, when she was so doing so. My whole point of this, like, well, why am I doing this? The whole point of it's this an excellent is, question. To sh is to show, right? If there is, as you say... If I were you, you Pisco, I'm going to be very honest with you. If, if I were you, I would yeah. be very, very careful to not let anybody who employs you see any of this. Why? It's just not good. I, I, don't, I don't know how to explain why? to you that it's not good. It's just, it's not a good look. Because you're not you're not good at this. This isn't compelling. Um, you you actually have no clue. Because the issue at hand is not that Kyla is not metaphysically a psychometrician. The issue at hand is that Kyla is using credentials that don't exist in order to portray herself as competent to sell services she's not qualified to sell and and Does to, the to sell herself. Does the credential psychometrician exist? What? Does the credential psychometrician? Does the credential psychometrician exist? Not where she is. So is it is it possible to be a psychometrician where she is? 
Yes, if she has a degree okay, called so, psycho, so the, if she so has wait, there, and I'm I'm a, I'm answering your question. If she has a degree called psychometrician that she attained elsewhere, or if she works under the title psychometrician where she is. Okay, so the credential does exist where she is, correct? No, it doesn't. Wait, you, you just said that it does. If she does the job there, or if she's an out of an out of towner and she's there, so she the can, according to her, according to her supervisor, she can work under the job title. That is not therefore called a credential. I am allowing that as a credential if indeed she has is, the job title. Is a job title? What is the difference between a job title and a credential? The difference between a job title and a credential is that a job title is just a title given to you by a place of work. A credential is a piece of paper from an authorized board uh, saying that you are certified to do a task or to be or to call yourself a, a thing. Got it. So, so she wouldn't be committing credential fraud, right? Because it would it would be her title, right? Not not any credential fraud. Well, if she's claiming that she has a credential, then yes, it would be credential fraud, and she, well, we see on the screen right here that she does. Um, with respect to psychometrician, you agree that she's never claimed that she had a a credential in psychometrician. She's it's claimed it's her. She's her. claimed it's her highest level of professional training. That employ right, that right. implies that implies professional training. Has she had professional training as a psychometrician? Would that has she had has she had has she had professional training yeah, called like training as a psychometrician? Right. Well, Can I ask a question well, for well, clarification? Well, wait, wait, sure. That, I just want to okay. Um, and I'll give credit to the the chat. This question came from chat. Who's so, chat? <laughs> from uh, so someone who has received their education in Canada. Can they be a psychometrist? Say it again. Is that possible? So psychometrician. We're, we're on, we're on psychometrician. Hang on. Hey, just, just shut up for a second. So hang on. Sorry. What was yeah, the question yeah. again? Psycho no, wait, wait, why disrespectful? Because I, I don't I, like uh, you and I don't respect you. Sorry. Say it again. I got that. I did get the title wrong. I'm not so, rude so, to you. Psychometrician. Okay. Um, is it possible someone who got their education? You're, you're, you're a polite piece of shit. Canada. Sorry. Continue. S uh, say that one more time. I apologize. Wait, 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 wait. It's okay. Do you think that you're behaving yourself in a, with decorum right now and that if your employer saw this, they would be very like proud of what you're doing? I work for myself. Say that a question again, please. So is it possible for someone who got their education in Canada Family. to be a psycho, whatever it is, whatever term we're on this, this time, is that possible uh, in Canada? To get a, a credential or to just, is there a justification for calling yourself one at all? Yeah. So someone else phrased the question. So if someone works as a psychometrist in Canada, but didn't get a degree in psycho psychometry outside of Canada, and they call themselves a psychometrist, they are committing credentials fraud. Is that true? But to call yourself a psychometrist in Canada, you would have to work under the job title psychometrist. That's the only way. There, There isn't a degree offered for that. What's your source for that? What do you mean, what's my source for that? I, I looked. I looked. At, I looked at what the offerings are in Canada for psychometrist because when I first started looking into this, I didn't know where she worked. Wait, wait, what? Where is the authoritative source that says in order to be a psychometrist in Canada, you need to have a job, the exact job title, psychometrist? Well, it's an unregistered thing. So, what does that mean, Pisco? Well, well I don't know. I'll what tell you. I'll you tell you what that means. Can no, I, no, can no. I try saying it a different way someday because I look. It, 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 it's, it's, it's just a thing that's accurate. It's accurate for the states too. There's no like bachelor's degree or master's degree in, in psychometrics. It's a PhD specialization. There is a graduate. There is a, there is, hang on. There, there is, there are graduate degrees, uh, uh, labeled psychometrician in the States. That's, that's incorrect. They do exist. The PhD in psychometrics, psychology or education is generally what a psychometrician has. No, no, bachelor's but there's, li there are literally degrees called psychometrician there, there are, in the States. There are occasional schools that have it. Generally speaking, people will just have a degree in psychology, a bachelor's or master's for being a psychometrician. I, I, I would like to ask, I would like to ask Sunday. What is your source that the only way that you can refer to yourself as a psychometrist in Canada is by having the exact job title? Defin definitionally, because there's, it's not, if it, if, because if there's no registry, then there's no, th there's no, uh, 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 credential that you can get that, uh, that puts you let on the registry. Let me give you an example. Let me, let me give you, an, let me give you an example then. Let's say that I, my official, um, job title is drink mixologist and I work for a, um, you know, that, that's an un, protected title let's say, sure where i am okay um would i be able to say that i'm a bartender uh if you had never worked in a bar and you said you well, were no, a bartender I, I and then and then you tried to uh sell yourself as a guru no, wait, wait, wait. on on bartending advice the stakes would be a lot lower 
but yeah, you would be defrauding the people you were so selling I, yourself to. I just want to, I just want to be clear. Uh, you know, I, I'm doing everything that a bartender would do. I'm mixing drinks. I'm talking to customers. I'm taking orders. Well, working whatever. at a bar would be kind of, hey, would be kind of critical. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I'm working at a bar, but my job title is drink mixologist. That's what it says on my official employee contract. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, and, and I <clears> say <throat> to my stream, Hey guys, you should really listen to me about drink advice. Cause I'm a bartender. Would that be, uh, a credential fraud? Would that be credential fraud? Is mixologist being cited as a credential? No, bar he's, his title was drink mixologist, and he's saying he's a bartender. Uh, you, you've got it a little bit backwards, Pisco. The issue is not that if uh, Kylo works under the title... Be, wait, sorry, answer my hypo. No, 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 you're, 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 you're confused. Why won't you answer my hypo? Because it's... Answer my hypo? Uh, because it's irrelevant. And as soon as I answer it, you're going to jump in that as if you made it score a point. It could be irrelevant, but, you, but why don't you answer it and then make and then explain because, why it's Because you're a duplicitous piece of shit and I'm not playing your game. So now I'm going gonna, to, to I'm clear, going to, now I'm going to reply in a way that will actually, because you've actually okay. completely misconstrued the actual stakes at, at hand. Um, the question is not, uh, whether or not she's allowed to use colloquial terms for a job title that she has. The question is whether she's allowed to use a very specific title on the basis of potentially being qualified to get a job title that she hasn't actually acquired. So the analogy would be if you mix drinks at home and then you claim to be a bartender and then try to be a guru selling bartending tips to people on the basis of working in a bar when you haven't, that would be the analogy. Okay. But, but, but you agree that my example, you would be okay to call your bartender. Even though you're, did you just listen to a single word that I said? Yeah, you said that a better hypothetical that I didn't propose would be if you had been at home and doing drinks and you tried to call yourself a bartender. Yeah, that's the okay, analogy. So, so what you're talking so my, about is disanalogous. What you're hypo, no, no. What you're what you're talking about is if somebody was employed, for example, as a a psychometrician under that job title, and then they refer to themselves as a psychometrist or an assessor or uh, somebody who works in in intelligence or something like that, because those would be under that umbrella. But that does not apply in this case. Okay, so then you agree that to be a psychometrist, you don't actually need the specific title. It could be something else. No, you actually explicitly need the ex the, the title okay, in okay, Alberta okay. in so particular. Let's go back. So no, no, no. This is the, no, no. We we have example. Pisco, Pisco. This isn't even up for debate. We actually have documents by people who are in a position to know who say very specifically. And in fact, these are the ones offered by Kyla herself. So you're arguing with mm -hmm. her at this point. Who say specifically these are not protected titles. All this does is, is it authorizes you to work under the title psychometrist, psychometrician, etc. And you cannot call yourself a psychometrist or a psychometrician on the basis of the education she has provided. I'm not asking as applied on erudite just yet. I'm asking you about titles writ large. I'm not ask, I'm not applying it to Kyla yet. You're going one step above, like beyond where I'm going. I want to know because not all mean? titles, because not all titles are equal and your argument relies on that. Okay. So then accept my hypothetical and say, yeah, you could call yourself a bartender, but this is different. Uh, I'm actually not clear. It may be the case, depending on where you are, that bartender maybe is a protected title or maybe, right, maybe, not. maybe, not. maybe, maybe colloquially, uh, bartender refers to, uh, something much more specific where you are and you are misleading people by calling yourself one, even if technically legally, there's no rule against you doing so. Assume that it's ordinary usage of bartender. There is no specific cultural well, ordinary, ordinary no usage, ordinary usage of bartender is somebody who works in a bar. If you are somebody, okay. for example, as a drink mixologist, maybe this refers to someone who's responsible for inventing drinks. Maybe this is somebody who uh, tastes drinks. Fair. Maybe yeah, this is someone fair. who is a connoisseur, right? So here's, Sunday's here's the thing. Fair. So if you now claim that you are a bartender, you are now claiming professional experience and credibility with respect to the skill of bartending, which may be distinct. Okay, I I am totally I totally grant that, but in okay. my hypothetical, I said your title is drink mixologist, sure, and you do everything a normal bartender would do, and, but your title is just drink mixologist, sure. In that case, would it be proper to call that drink mixologist wants to you know sell their skills and other job and says, yeah, I've been a bartender for five years, sure. Okay, so you would agree that you wouldn't have to have the specific title of bartender to use that title uh, if you do all the work that's typical of a bartender. Uh, okay. correct. Correct. But how, how about okay. this? Let me, let me, okay. let's, let's modify, let's modify it a you tiny, see where I'm going? You see where I'm I, going? I do, but let's modify it a tiny okay. bit. Okay. So, uh, what if instead of a bartender, uh, what if you called yourself a bar manager? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I think that that would be a different case, right? Sure. So uh, what if you, what if, where... what if, what if, what if in addition, uh, psychometrician involves supervisory authority and you called yourself a psychometrician on the basis of co-authoring mm -hmm. a paper under the supervision of somebody else in which you were never granted the supervisory authority. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to go down that train. We're going to talk about like what would. No, no, but what, what, what do you, what do you, what do you think though? Just on the basis we, we, of what we, I've we, just said. We, we, we haven't finished this train. I mean, like it, you're, you're leaving me like on the edge because I want to finish this train and you want to go somewhere else. And I'm happy to no, go. No, I think, I think we're in the, I think we're Can actually, we I think we're actually, thing? I think we're actually in the same place. I, I think what you're no. really, I think what you're really, really banking on. Uh, is being the last person to say something and then laugh so you can kind of pretend like you got something no. by skirting over uh, an actual no. analysis of the case at hand no, because I, no, I, I because you've because you've opted different. because you've opted very specifically for a disanalogous case and you've acknowledged that it's disanalogous here no no i've acknowledged that bar manager is disanalogous i think that the bartender drix mixologist could be analogous and that if you're doing that, having specific job title that says psychometrist, if it's well, not a protected title, then if you're doing all the work of a psychometrist, well, hang, hang on, it, slow, slow, to slow, slow down, cowboy. What does her graduate diploma in psychological assessment qualify her to work as? Wait, uh, wait, we're talking about psych. Simple question. Psych sorry, simple question. We're it's it's on. Look, 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 look. Wait, we why, have, why we have, this we have. I'm not. I'm actually not. We have a specific letter that says exactly what that qualifies her to do. Can you wait, can I, you recite I, it for me? I. I am. Can you? Do you know? Can you? Can you recite I'm it for talking, me? Pisco, I it's a very, talking. very, very simple question. What does her graduate diploma in psychological assessment qualify her to work as? Her graduate diploma in psychological assessment, according to this administrator who you yes. lied to. I didn't lie to anybody. Oh, yeah, you did. You said that you had that you graduated in, under that degree, didn't you? Is that a lie? Uh, oh, oh yeah. To, uh, to academic advising. You, I said, I have, I have the, I have the, I have the, academic advising? to academic advising. I said, I have the, uh, credential of, uh, graduate diploma. Lied, right? I have a graduate diploma in psychological assessment. Um, yeah. You agree you lied? Uh, to academic advising. When I, yeah, when I, when agree? I said I have this degree and I asked for a question yeah, about you that. You agree that you lied? Let me double check. Actually. I'm actually a little bit, uh, fuzzy on my remembrance. Maybe I was more innocent than I think. No, you <sighs> lied. Let me, let me pull this up. It doesn't fucking matter, Pisco. I was using a hypothetical to get an answer well, I, concerning I her credentials. I just want to be clear that, you, that you're a liar and you lied. Uh, but so are you and so is Erudite. It's on the screen right here. And yeah, the difference you, is you're... that here's, here's the difference, Pisco. I was using that to get an answer concerning Kyla lying it's, about it's her lie, credentials. Right? I was using that to get an answer concerning Kyla lying about her credentials. Kyla is lying in order to sell to vulnerable people service she's not you specially qualified to give you agree you lied for i'm this, actually right? i'm actually lied. double i'm actually double checking but i you don't said greetings i achieved a graduate diploma in psychological assessment in 2022 oh you I got the quote brilliant yeah yeah yeah, yeah this is at minute 21 27 yeah. i also lied, i also right? used i also used a fake name too yeah yeah so, so you agree you lied yeah and you're a liar uh to the academic advising committee yeah yeah okay yeah. so when you're not lied, to the not to the committee to the person at academic advising is okay, this is this what you've got? Is this the best you've got, Pisco? Well, no. I'm yes, just, yes, just, Pisco. Yes, Pisco. To I, the end. To the end. Up. To the end. To the end of acquiring an authoritative statement on the on the uh, specific applicability and appropriate use of of the credential that Kyla has. I said I have that credential in order to get an answer that would Wait, not be that would not be that would not be in suspicion, which I did. You lie when it's convenient, right? You lie when it's convenient. I I lied tactically in this case. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, Pisco, saying, Pisco, that, Pisco. That, if, if 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 what you're if what you're lever if what you're leaning into here is well, well, you know, Kyla may have lied, but so did you. Well, I'm just I'm just stating a, a, a fact that you lied, <laughs> and I'm I'm now going to address your claim about the because you wanted me to about from this psychological chair professor and chair. Oh, this is right? so weak. What's weak? How long did you go to law school for? This is weak. It's three years for law school. Three middle. years. Yeah. Must have been an uneventful well, three I, years. Listen, Dear I, God. I, I try to uh I try to stick on psychometrician. You don't want to stick on psychometrician. You said you don't want to talk about psychometrician. Pisco, you, you you're ran away, you ran away from it. Pisco. So what am I Pisco? Gonna do? Like, dear God, I was expecting something. Like anything. This is desperate. Do you want to talk about psychometrician or psychometrist? Or do you want to talk about the degree? I, I want you to explain. How Kyla calling herself a trained psychometrist, which is a graduate degree, is not yeah. credential fraud when she's then selling a a, th a therapy. Do it. Can, 
Go. Can I have four? Can, no, let's can see. I have 40 seconds uninterrupted. Can I have an uninterrupted time? Uh, 40 Would seconds. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a whole minute. Okay. All right, let's go. From Sunday's own video, it's clear that there's a great deal of inconsistency. Why are you speaking in the third person? Talk to me. Sunday, from your own video, Thank you. you show and your sources say there's a great deal of uncertainty and mistakes in the field with respect to all these terms, with respect to uh, psychological assessment and psychometry uh -huh. and uh, psychometrist and psych uh, psychometrician, that all these terms are are used poorly because and they're not well defined. The definitions you show, for example, for one of them, psychometrician, disagree with each other, disagree with you. Can I ask a point of clarification so quickly? I, 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 think, I think it's- I'll, I'll pause, I'll pause your time. Can I ask a point of clar clarification quickly? Sure, sure, sure. So sorry, just for clarification. So you say, I say in my own video that this is the case. What do you mean? Sorry? The, uh, the, the sources you cite, the sources you cite disagree with you, disagree with the, each other. I'm just showing you that they're, and which, the sources you cite will say things for, to the effect the, of the, the, the statement, of, the statement specifically being the particular content of the role psychometrician and psychometrist. Yeah, that those terms, right? That, and, and others, right? The same thing with psychometry. Psychometry is an example where you're pointing out the only reason why the Wikipedia has a disambiguation, for example, is sure. uh, it, uh, according to you, is because people often make this mistake of confusing. Well, that's what that's what that's what that's what disambiguation that's what disambiguation does. There's an ambiguity Sorry, in these terms. There's an ambiguity in these terms, so it offers you. Can I have my minute, please. Uh, yeah, just, whoa, 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 okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to you in a second. So disambiguation yeah, okay. disambiguation just means it's if there's ambiguity in the terms. It, it offers you alternatives. It doesn't. It doesn't mean that. Oh, these are actually synonymous, in okay. like a robust. So my stream is still up. I know you. No, no. This is this is yeah. on my end. This is okay. Classic Canadian internet. Or just my adapter's garbage, which is possible. Although everything else seems to be running fine, I'm seeing you in real time on your stream. Everything is cool. we're talk talking obviously, so it's maybe OBS. it's. It's OBS. Maybe it's like upload, upload speed. <sighs> oh, we'll see we're getting back there. Cool. Oh, people are saying it's back. I'm going to wait awesome. till it's, uh, till YouTube's not showing yellow and then we'll start your timer again. I appreciate it. All right. Well, I'm just gonna give you a whole minute. Boom. Cool. Go. Let me know. Yeah. I think to repeat, given the fact that, uh, Sunday's own sources seem to indicate great confusion within the industry and certainly outside of it, of what these terms mean, including, uh, psychometrics and, um, psychometry and psychometrician and psychometrist it's not plausible to me that erudite would be seeking to gain anything based on the marginal increase in authority if there is any and saying graduate degree in uh psychom psychometrist versus a uh, graduate diploma in, in uh, psychological assessment to me right if what you claim to be is, is true which is that credentials are for the lay person because I don't see a plausible scenario where a lay person would see any difference in authority based on those two things. I don't think that it's plausible that she has the mental state of trying to induce something, a fraudulent mental state based on alleging that kind of marginal difference. Does that make any sense? Uh, uh, no, no, not, not really. Um, did you, was that all the time you wanted to use? Okay. Well, well, well oh, no, no, I'll, 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 I'll use more to, to try to explain it. Basically, the reason why, um, why, what's his name? The, the, the British guy, Loner Box's tweet is so funny, right? Is because your argument of fraud requires that there be some difference in how they would treat erudite as between a um, person with a graduate diploma in psychological assessment versus a graduate degree in, um, as a psychometrist, which is a you know graduate degree or whatever, the fact that no lay person would see any significant if like who is why would a lay person say one is more authoritative than the other? They don't know anything about well, well, for, for me, it well, doesn't make sense. Well, that for example, someone would go in there and, yeah. and like lie about those differences, right? Sure, yeah, yeah, okay. So, for example, if she says she has a bachelor's degree in psychology, there are a shit ton of people out there with a bachelor's degree in psychology. If she says she has a professional title in the field that seems to be highly technical and highly specific. 
Uh, and if, by the way, when you look those titles up, a lot of them seem to imply graduate or even doctoral degrees, then they are going to treat her differently. Well, and yeah. and she at no point clarifies that, hey guys, I just administer, pers I just administer personality tests. Uh, I'm now going to tell you which which therapists and which psychiatrists you should be talking to. I'm going to make declarative statements about IQ and, and human determination. That's a problem. We're not there yet, right? Now, if, if in addition to that, if in addition to that, she also says... Wait, why don't uh, we just stay on one thing? Why don't we stay on one thing? Why, why are we going over... The, why what do you mean, why the, are we... These are the same species let's, let's of things. Let's stay... These are the no, same... No, 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 but you're, you're talking about like whether or not she would be able to leverage these on the grounds that you conjecture that the average person would not treat somebody differently who has like a, a specialized technical role in a field that seems to be really advanced and difficult versus somebody who just has a bachelor's degree, which is not impressive. It's basically- Would the equivalent. average person see that? That's my question. Would the average person notice uh, uh, yes. one authority more than the other? Yes. In a graduate yes. diploma in yes. psychological assessment versus- Yes. Yes, yes they, they would. What's your to say that? Well, for one, it requires a separate credential even to qualify to work as one in the first place. So, for example, if she calls herself a psychiatrist, no, I'm talking about lay people. Lay people. I am also talking about lay people. Okay. So, lay people will include people who have a psychology degree, because having a psychology degree does not necessarily mean that you have training in psychological assessment in particular. So, okay. if yeah, so uh, a bunch of people with a psychology degree will not therefore have uh, qualifications to work as a psychometrician or as a psychometrist. If she is claiming that on the grounds of a degree that everybody else has, then she is claiming, uh, by implication, credentials that somebody else had to work potentially years and years more than she did in order to get. And lest we forget, she does not call herself a psychometrician solely on the grounds of her getting her graduate diploma in psychological assessment. In fact, she differentiates between the two and she says she's qualified to work as a psychometrician and a psychometrician on those grounds, but that she has worked as a psychometrician on the grounds that she has worked in her undergraduate on a paper that happened to be a measure under the supervision of a professor. You Did you follow that? Did that make sense? Uh, no, it doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, your your logic is totally warped and twisted. Uh, someone that was actually pretty see... pointed. It was just long. No, no, no. It was yes. warped and twisted. Oh. You you are claiming that. Oh, Why don't you can can you can you can you restate oh, yeah. it for me? I'll recreate it. You said that we should include include in our our, our denominator of who's a psychologist. Oh, sorry, um, a layperson. People who have bachelors in uh, oh psychology. God. Correct so far, right? Is that correct so far? Say it again. That the first statement you made was that we should include in the denominator of who we're considering lay people to be people with bachelors in psychology. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. But people with the and bachelors that, in psychology are, are lay persons. They are not specialized. They literally okay. have that, an that, undergraduate degree. They've been, they've been barely, uh, they've gotten like a, a general survey of the field. They are not specialized. So, They're not qualified to do so really much at all. So far, I have correctly restated the first part of what you said, right? Uh, no, it just happens to no be be a statement I, I would I would it? I would agree with. Um, but people with a bachelor's what did, what, what, did I, what did you say that was different than what I said? What I said was that people who have a bachelor's in psychology are not going to therefore have additional training in the specific field that she claims, and she claimed that on the grounds of having a bachelor's degree in psychology. Did you just say, prior to what you just just said, that people that we should consider and delay people, those who have psychology bachelor's degrees? Did you say that? Uh, yes, I would consider people, we'll just go with that. Yes, I would okay. consider people who have a bachelor's degree okay. in psychology or a late so you, person. You agree that I have fairly characterized what you said so far, correct? Sure, dude. Why did you say no then? Move on. Sure, dude. What's, what's, what's step two? Why is you, why are you so hesitant to give ground at all stages? Because, matter, because, right? because there's two problems with you, Pisco. One is that you love to hear yourself talk, so you will loop endlessly. And the second is that you will latch onto literally anything, even if it is not germane to your point at all, uh, just to have the I'm ascension in a, sh you? in a, in a, in an interaction in the middle of a conversation. If you say you're mis if, if you say that I'm misrepresenting you, don't you think I should address it? Uh, you, you actually categorically misrepresented me from your initial review of wait, my wait, video. Wait. wait, can you answer what I just said? If I, if, 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 I, if, I, if I answer, here's the problem for you, Pisco. If I answer yes, then we now immediately go back to your initial review of my video and we find immediately that you have attributed sentences to the wrong section chronologically in the video to make a statement about my, what I'm claiming. Isn't it fair for you? Wait, is, isn't it fair if, if someone says that someone has mischaracterized someone, 
isn't it fair to address it? It would be, tenants, it right? would be, it would be. But what I'm saying is tread carefully because you did that first and very egregiously. Okay. All right, so, wait, so you agree that it's okay for me to take time to stop. All right, we're doing it. Let's go back and review. Wait, 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 Sunday. It's, 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 it's Twitter time, people. Sunday. Sunday, you agree that it's worth it for me to go Twitter back time. and make sure that I'm fairly characterizing what you're saying, right? Twitter time with Pisco. Here we go. Sunday, <sighs> did you say that I was mischaracterizing Hang you? on, slow down. This will, this will all be over soon. We have Kyla response sources and we have Pisco response. Sunday. Are uh, you going to, are you interested in a conversation with me or I'm not? Pulling, no, of course not. This is an ob obligation. I'm just pulling this up quickly. Why not? Why aren't you interested? Because you're not interesting and you're incompetent. Well, but don't you think that I've, I have a right to, you know, be heard by you or no? No, you don't have a right to anything. What on earth do I owe you? Well, don't, don't you think that we're, we agree to have a conversation? Uh, I'm pretty sure I invited you on to chat, but that doesn't, that doesn't confer any kind of obligation on me. Do you think that this. like, it would be nice if we would have a conversation and, and you weren't name. like this? Oh, if I click not so area, here we go. And then, oh, here we go. Pisco response, of course, was a subheading. <clears throat> yeah, fuck it. I'll just find it on Twitter. Why don't you ask me what you're we looking for, buddy? Uh, I'm finding your initial 80 plus thing tweet storm. The initial on the one initial was like video. 40, was like 40 tweets. There's two big ones. It was longer than 40. It was 40 something. It was longer than 40. The first one was, was not it that was, much longer than 40. It was longer than 40. Let's see. Here. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure. <sighs> oh. The initial one was 41. Oh, there you go. So do you agree that it was around 40? Were there subtweets under it? Do you agree the thread was 40, close to 40? Uh, I don't care. It was a lot. Hang on. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, fuck. Of course, because I muted everything. There we go. Now I can see it. It's pinned. I mean, all the, the first one is the pin of the longest one. On my on my feet. There we go. So sixty nine. Oh, this is a this is the other one. So this is on. Oh, here we go. Hang on. Okay, so this is the first one. This is February twelfth. So that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So if we go up. Well, no, that's the second thread. Is that the second thread? Because you're yeah, you're, you're this is this is from February twelfth. Yeah, so the first thread is February 11th. It's, if you're on the February 12th thread, the second tweet on my thread is linked to the first thread, which is 41 tweets. Hang on. Why didn't you just make this like a document? I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand your methodology. Here. You, you, draw, you draw text on, on paint. And you you write thousand okay, you write ten thousand word let's, documents let's, on Twitter. Right, let me listen. I'm, not, I'm gonna stop with the questioning of you. Let's just talk. All right. No, no, no. I, I don't want to talk with you. I want to find the thing here quickly. So you see Why not? You don't, you're, you're not interested in a conversation. No. What's 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 interesting about you? Hang on. February. You agreed 11th. to have a conversation. I, I agreed to talk to you. I didn't agree to have. <laughs> you're not my type. I'm sorry, Pisco. Just hang on a sec. Here we go. I found it. Uh, da, 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 da. <clears throat> Can we talk? Yeah, in one moment, just let me find the thing. This isn't that sure. onerous. You'll have to wait five seconds. Uh, da, 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 da. I think I actually uh, pointed out in my video in particular. That might be faster. At this point, Sunday has failed to provide uh, evidence for his claim that an academic credential is necessary to call yourself a psychometrist slash psychometrician. He's provided no evidence for his claim that Ariadne is purposely misrepresenting herself. Uh, 1220-ish, Ariadne can't even claim the work in the functional capacity of a psychometrician because her paper was co-authored. Ariadne's entire argument is that psychometrician is largely a functional... Uh, well, no, it's not that it's co-authored. What I, what I say here is that's, that's 
not here nor there. But what I what I say here is that it's co-authored, so we don't actually know if she was with authorization authority there. That's um, normal, right? To co-author a paper in a university. Of course, it's normal. It's yeah, very of, of, of course. Yeah, so it is. There's, there's nothing suspect about co-authoring a paper with a professor. Well, well, yeah, no. Right. If if you're if you're trying to claim a a credential of supervisory authority by saying that uh, you were in a particular role and we don't know who the other person is in there and they in fact did have supervisory authority it would be for example um if i co-authored a paper with a uh, a professor who was a political consultant and i therefore after claimed because i did some of the stuff that he does that mm -hmm. i am a political consultant after the fact um that would be analogous and it'd be it'd be false is there work that you could do while in undergrad that would qualify you to be a political consultant before you graduate? I'm in the dark about that. But if I haven't done the work, I haven't done the work. And that's assuming that's assuming that having done some of the tasks associated with that role is sufficient to call myself that yeah, afterwards. Let's, I think it's a very interesting, because uh, I think that that's a place where I saw some of your uh, argumentation where it seemed like you, you were saying it's a lot think about the world we would live in right if we lived in a world in which people could get cred credentials before they graduated that and i think that 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 resonates with a lot of people right it wouldn't isn't it ridiculous to suppose that you could be a psychometrician or a psychometrist before you get a ba right? oh no no, no you're, you're, effect, you're, right? you're 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 confused the issue is not that you can't get credentials before you graduate the issue is that she's claiming credentials that other people worked additionally to get that she did not work for she, she at the yeah, time, I, no, no, at the time she was calling herself a psychometrician or at, at the, uh, when she's calling herself a psychometrician, uh, what she was doing then, she did not have the graduate diploma in psychological assessment, which is what is required for her to be qualified to work as a psychometrician or a psychometrist as per her graduate again. diploma. Wait, her graduate diploma was required to work as a psychometrician or a psychometrist. That's uh, what it authorizes her to do. Um, she certainly isn't authorized to do so. She certainly isn't authorized to do so before getting her bachelor's, which like, once again, she wrote this paper well, during her bachelor's, wait, 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 during wait, her let's bachelor's. Talk, let's talk about that. Yeah. Is a bachelor's in psychology required to be a psychometrist or a psychometrician? Uh, in Alberta? Um, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't recall, I don't recall seeing a job title that, uh, or a job posting that allows for somebody without a bachelor's degree but even if there was that would require for her to get the title and then she would say i'm currently employed as a psychometrist or a well, psychometrician i i just want to be i just want to clear one thing if there were a job posting from a legitimate organization which um which did not require a bachelor's in psychology that would be enough to show that you don't need a bachelor's in psychology to get the title correct uh sure but it would not be enough to show that she has the title or that she has a right okay, to the title I, I agree, that would just would that agree. would just that would just change the conditions okay so you're aware that erudite did show positions where a bachelor's in biology was not required and that bachelor's uh one one where were a bachelor's where a bachelor's was not required i i yeah, can't yeah. i i can't recall off the top of my head i, I think that'd yeah, be it's, that would be unlikely video. that would be well, but once again, it says, it says a bachelor's in, in, in statistics, bachelor's in this, this, or similar training. That was one of the listings for psychometrists. Okay, sure. But similar, similar training to a you bachelor's agree? degree. I, you, I don't know okay, what that would, would be. You would, you would agree then that a bachelor's in psychology is not necessary for, for, uh, the psychometrist title, at least, uh, in Alberta, it's not because it's not a protected title, but she would nonetheless have to have the job title in order to claim it. Oh, okay, so we'll, we'll, let's get this. So, so you're, you're, you're one, stuttering. Right? You're stuttering. Like, oh, step what's one, what's that? That's it's that's clear cut. Pisco. She doesn't one, have the right? job you, title. Step one, right? You. That's where we're going at with the bartender thing, and that's what I wanted to address before. Step. But one, the issue. Though, but Pisco. Pisco. The issue is no. But Pisco. The, the issue is not that I'm I'm staking everything on her not being able to be one. The issue is that she has claimed to be one when she isn't. So we we've identified two different conditions under which she could. She has a credential called that. Can't get that where she is. Okay, toss that one out. But maybe she can work as one. You she can work said, as one with a job title. Has she worked as one with a job title? You just said, first of all, she claims that. But you she just claims what? said, she claims that she has that job title. She claims you, she has the job just, title of a psychometrician? No, a psych psychometrist. Really? Has she provided any evidence for this at all? Wait, you, wait, you, you responded to that tweet. But she, but she lied, but she lied about her. You, she lied. I, I did. I did. Because, yes, because one of Kyla's strategies for warding off criticism is to make up criticisms that people didn't make and answer those because they're more convenient. You said so, she was qualified to be a psychometrist in your response there. Uh, I, I did. And she is qualified to work as a psychometrist if she gets the job title. She's not qualified to call herself a psychometrist if she's not working as one. 
Okay, so let's as I, I as per was, again as you, per again her supervisor who she cites as authoritative. Why can't we do this step by step? I mean, let's you made a claim, right? Let's go. We're not we're not friends. I don't like you, and we're not going to have like a, a nice thing where I just let you just 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 structure well, the conversation you see fit. I don't know why. Like like listen, you're making an allegation. Isn't it fair for me to like want to interrogate every part of it? Who the fuck I, are I you? I don't, I don't, I'm I don't need to indulge you in particular. You agree to. I agree to talk to you. I didn't agree to indulge every little thing you do. Well, that's, that's I, silly. I want to address, I want to address your salient points, right? You say something like she would be claiming her title prior to graduating as though that that were something that is wrong, right? Correct. Sorry, say that again. You say, right, that it would be perverse if someone could claim a title prior to graduating with their bachelor's in psychology. Right? Say that one more time. I'm multitasking here. Didn't you say that it would be wrong for her to claim or like absurd for her to claim that she had a title prior to having her degree in, in a bachelor's in psychology? Uh, uh, Yes, because she didn't work as those things while she was in her bachelor's in psychology. I want to, I want and to moreover, and that. moreover, she has leveraged a further degree, a further diploma that she required her bachelor's degree to get uh, as justification for being qualified to work as a psychometrist and a psychometrician. I, I want to examine the claim about Pisco, titles. Pisco, I'm really tired what? of you trying to trying to reframe the conversation constantly. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. Okay. Like you're slippery, it, but you're not good at it. Is it is it unfair for me to try to address the point that you brought up about graduation and the time lag between graduation and when she claimed the title? Is it unfair for me to want to address that? Well, what you, what else? What will address that you, with respect to her? I don't want a hypothetical yeah, you, person who hasn't falsely claimed credentials that she doesn't wait, have. I want wait, to talk I, about I, the person who has. In order for me to to like to assess right whether or not erudite is breaking some rule in the distribution of these titles, I need to know what the rule is. Isn't that fair for me to know what the rule is? The rule um, is a general rule, a rule that applies to everyone. Once There's again, once again, once again, once again, Pisco, I never claimed that it was illegal for her to call herself a psychometrician. I can call myself a psychometrician. Hey guys, I'm a psychometrician. Pisco, am I a psychometrician? Am I qualified to be a psychometrician? Probably not. Why? On what grounds? I've got a bachelor's well, degree. I, on what grounds? To, to be clear, I've made, I, I've made, I've made measures. I make measures all the time. Here. To be clear, to be clear, I did not allege credential fraud of you just now of the title psychometrician. If I were, if I were to attack you for that, right? I would have the burden of proof to demonstrate Pisco. everything. Pisco, Pisco, Pisco. I, I have a, I have a bachelor's degree in political science and a minor's in religious studies, and I worked at a theater for a few years. Am I yeah. am I qualified to call myself a psychometrician? Have you ever studied psychology? Yes. Have you ever psych, uh, studied psychometrics? Yes. Have you ever worked in psychometrics professionals? Uh, no. Okay. Um, so have you, do, are you in, um, from America? Have you gotten a degree that says it in America that you're a psychometrist? No. Okay. Um, so you haven't worked in psychometrics professionally, correct? No. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. So then I think it's fair to say that you're not a psychometrician, right? But, but hang on. I have, I have a bachelor's degree. I've studied psychology. But you have a I was really, degree. I was really smart in high school. Yeah, but you haven't, you haven't worked professionally in the field, right? No. But Erudite has. That's her claim. She's claimed that she's worked professionally as a psychometrician. That she has worked in that field as a psychometrician, as a psychometrician, and, and she, well, she's claimed work that's relevant in the creation and validation of tests, <clears throat> which is what your definition was. She's she's claimed work. In the creation yeah, and validation of tests, she claims she really she, work. She so she was she was employed. 
You're saying she was yeah. employed to create and validate. That's interesting as, because as she doesn't claim because as, she doesn't because I don't think she because I don't think she actually part, I don't think she actually claims that. I think she co-authored a paper in her part, undergraduate degree as a part of her work, education. It's work in the field. It's, wait, wait, it's, that's not work in the field. That's 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 not work wait, in the field. That's not work in the field. Can you work in the field? I'm not working in when I when I when I write a when I when I write a a, a term paper in in my uh, in my uh, dimensions of international cooperation thing on on like like mm -hmm. uh, disaster aid or whatever. Am I working in the field sure. of disaster aid? In the the field of political philosophy or whatever you're talking about, international whatever. Right? In the field, I, I'm theory, I'm right? working if if I if I'm I'm working in the field. That's what you're saying. But if the field is academic in nature, right? If the field is creating things that are like, so like, let's say you're doing political philosophy. What's in the field for political philosophy? Isn't that like writing papers and, and citing things? That right. would be that would be doing political philosophy, but the analogy here would so not there's be no working in the field and in, in, in political philosophy. Well, well, psychometrician isn't just psychometrics either. It is a role. Yes, she has specifically stated that she is a psychometrician on the grounds that she has made and validated tests, or on the grounds that she has yeah. made tests yes. rather. Yeah. 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 Wait, but we were talking about what is required for these titles and whether or not any time lag between graduation and the acquisition of these titles was suspect, which you seem to, uh, you know, you say outright is, is a, a point of, I, I guess, against it. Well, because once again, there will be people with her exact same credentials who have actually gone and gotten a master's degree that's actually called psychometrician, or there will, peop there will be people who have uh, gotten a graduate diploma in psychological assessment before her, and she is claiming a title that is greater than them in her undergraduate degree on the basis of having written a test. Right, so we now, maybe some of those people also, also did the exact same kinds of things. A lot of those people are going to be honor students. In fact, she is very particular to point out that they're actually kind of... Uh, they're making psychology a little bit more elite. They're requiring honors to even let you in for master studies. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's true or not, but she claims this. So what's actually going on is she is assigning credentials to herself that she has not worked for, that other people have, that they have worked for. Okay. Is it possible? Right, right. I, that could be the... With, with God, all things are possible, there, Pisco, there, brother. Is, is it possible, right? Is it... A contradiction to say that someone is a psychometrist or a psychometrician prior to graduating their their bachelor degrees in in psychology. Say that one more time. Is it possible to be a psychometrician or a psychometrist prior to graduating with a bachelor's degree in psychology? If she has the job, the job so title. It is possible. Correct? If she has the job title. Okay. If she so has the job the title. title right? If so, she has the so job title, talk, yes. Let's talk about the title. Because, right? because, you, because, before, because if she doesn't have the job title, then she is claiming the credential of somebody who actually has worked professionally in the field with validating authority okay. or administrating so authority, if you like. Let, let, let me give you an example. Administrative authority. Right? Let, let, let me give you an example. Suppose, suppose that erudite. I'm going to give you two things, and you and you and I, I want you to compare between them. And sure. I think this is like a fair question to ask you. All right. Um, suppose that erudite had uh, one job title while working that said psychometrician, and that job involved basically just um, gathering and and collecting IQ tests after people had taken them, shuffling the papers around and giving them to their super and giving them to her supervisor. Sure. But the title said psychometrician, mm -hmm. right? Um, compare that to a role where her title is a uh, psychometrist, but she's actually creating and validating 10 uh, psychological tests. She has a supervisory role, but the title is psychometrist. Between these two, yeah. which one is the psychometrician? The one with a job title. Does that make any sense to you? It does actually. Is she authorized as a result of her credentials or as a result of her job title to generically create and validate tests? Or does she just happen to be doing so in this particular professional context? Because the reason why we cite credentials or we cite titles is to tell people what we are qualified to do in general, not that, hey, I happen to uh, work at a bar at this particular restaurant, even though, for example, um, if I put that onto paper that I am a professional mixologist or whatever you want to say, mm -hmm. um, on those grounds that I have happened to work at a table where alcohol is served, I am therefore uh, puffing up my credentials against somebody who actually has worked at a bar, who actually probably is qualified to do so, and I'm making this look equal to an audience that doesn't know our particular biographies, or an employer yeah, so doesn't like, know particular biographies. That would be fraudulent. Basically, what what you're saying, right? I think is perverse, right? The whole these are unprotected titles, 
and and she has an excuse she has a perfect she has a perfect she has a perfect excuse she has a perfect she has a perfect excuse and she has a perfect excuse she can now make it seem to her audience that she is embedded deeply in the field of psychology and has an in-depth knowledge of how psychiatrics and therapy works and she can now sell her services to navigate a free resource to people on the grounds that she knows better than they do I would like that to is deeply I that is deeply unethical I, I would i would like to finish what i was saying before. i want to pee can you hold that thought yeah okay